high church. Uh, let us pray. Psalm 3.8 tells us, From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessings be on your people. Father, we are a people who are scattered throughout this world. And so we pray for it. We pray that things will go well for your people in this world, that things will go well with each nation so that there will be peace and prosperity so that those who love God can continue to thrive and preach the word. But Father, we know that that isn't the case. We know that our world has, is a world of troubles. We know that our world uh, struggles because it doesn't know you. And so, Father, we pray for good government by our world leaders. Whoever is in power, Father, we ask for wisdom and we ask that they will bend the knee and throw down their crowns and worship you, that they will know your justice and that they will seek for their people to understand and live what is just and good. Father, we pray for love and unity in the truth among Christians Father, we ask that we, the church, though we might have differences, differences in ways of worshipping, differences in ways of thinking about uh, different doctrines and such, but Father, ultimately, we love you. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ, and we ask that for the true church who worships you, that we will have love and unity. Father, we give you thanks for this wonderful country, Australia. We give you thanks for what you have provided for all of us. We give you thanks for the opportunity that exists for us. And we ask, Father, that it will go well for our nation. We know now we suffer uh, from COVID and issues such as that. But, Father, we also just give you thanks that here in Australia, we have been spared a lot. Father, we ask particularly for wisdom for our leaders that they will know how to lead our country well and that they will know how to make the tough decisions uh, that they've got to do each month. Father, I give you thanks for this wonderful city, Sydney. I give you thanks for this wonderful area, Penrith. Father, I ask that you will help us have hearts that seek to serve the community here in Penrith, that we will reach out with your word and with your love in practical ways that we will see Penrith grow to be a place where everyone can come to know you and praise you. Father, we give you thanks for our gospel partners, Neville and Kathy Naden, in the Indigenous ministry with BCA. Father, we give you thanks for the work that Neville is doing, engaging with field staff and church leaders in the Indigenous ministry space. Father, we ask for the work that among Indigenous people there, that it will continue to go well, that things will be, uh, that your word will be contextualised in a way that they find easy to understand. We pray for Neville as he speaks at the Living Water Church this month. We pray that him and Kathy, as they present um, Indigenous cultural awareness training program there with BCA, that it will go well, that it will honour you and honour the people that are, they are trying to reach. Father, while we love Penrith and we love Australia, we know there are many who are suffering and are in need. Father, we ask that you will turn our hearts to them, that you will help us uh, love them in ways that are appropriate and ways that help them where they need. Father, we give you thanks for the programs that do exist in our community society and our culture that have been transformed and informed by your love for those who are suffering. We give you thanks that our culture believes that those who are on the poverty line deserve dignity because we know that they are as much the image of God as we. Father, we give you thanks for the church. We give you thanks for St. Stephen's. We give you thanks for everyone here, for whether they're little children all the way up to those who have been leading us many years. We ask that we may continue to grow in Christ through our growth groups, that we will continue to grow to know you and grow to know each other. And Father, we ask you also to look after our kids in kids' time. May the leaders continue to teach your word faithfully and we ask that even in this tough time as they try to figure out ways of doing wonderful activities with the kids through COVID 
that you will uh, help the leaders be creative and faithful. We pray all these things in your wonderful name. Amen.